Good morning, everybody. All right. You are in a very large campus. We have 1,000 freshmen. Oh my God, this is, I'm really starting high school. You're on the bottom again, and you're starting all over. I have eyes all over campus. You do not want to be absent at Chatsworth unless you have an incredibly good excuse or reason. Do not talk during announcements. Unless you've been hit by a car, you've got 110 fever, you've got three broken legs, I want you here. No eating or drinking in the studio. There are no pages, cell phones. If you mess around in the beginning and you get on my bad side, it's not good. Before you can follow your dreams, you've got to follow the rules. They were trying to scare us all the time. And I mean, isn't high school supposed to be freedom? Leave your eighth grade behaviors at the door, people. We are in high school now. I'm up seven in the morning and I'm late for school. I'm feeling cool, cause I'm matched from my shirt to my shoes. Another day, another choice to make. Whether wrong or right, I learn from my mistakes. This is a whole new world to me. Pretty girls to me. Fine guys to me. It's a surprise to me that when I grow up, I wanna be major paid. First, we gotta get through the ninth grade. Big man on campus is everybody knows you, you're a hot shot, you get all the girls, and my brother gets all the girls, and he's the big man on campus. I was president of the eighth grade class, and I think I'm going to run for student council this year. In my freshman year, I'm looking forward to participating more and having more of a social life than I did in middle school. We got big dreams and we got big fears Trying to survive our freshman year Good morning, Chatsworth High School. This is Mr. Wyatt, your principal. What's up, fool? We'd like to welcome all of you to the new year here at Chatsworth. We would especially like to welcome the freshman class and hope that you will become a great part of the Chatsworth tradition. So we going to get our classes right now? Yeah. All right. We cannot give you your program without the pink slip. All right. OK? From the health card. I don't think I'll be getting my classes here. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Justin Castle. I'm 14 years old. I'm a freshman at Chatsworth. And I'm on the varsity football team. All right, so where are we going right now? You want to go walk around, see if we know anybody here? What's her name? I don't know her name. Very sexy lady. She's been giving me these looks. Coming back to school is all right. Uh, I haven't really seen any of my friends over the summer, so it's pretty nice to like see and get acquainted with them again. All right, then I'll see you later. What's up, Jenny? Hi. What are you doing tonight? I'd like to get to know the girls, but I'm not really looking for a girlfriend right now because it's too much drama. Yeah, you know Matt Castle? Yeah, he's my brother. No, I don't think I'm that popular. The only reason why I think I'm really popular is because of my brother Matt and my last name's Castle, and that's how my name gets around. What's up? Hey, what's up? He knows pretty much everybody in the school. He'll be a senior this year. Matt, he, you know, he's going to USC, and every day you open the newspaper and it'd be something about him, you know, he's going to SC, he threw for 2,000 yards, he completed so many passes and all that. So, like, if you think about it, yeah, it is a lot of pressure, but, like, I don't really think of it as that. I just think of it as a good challenge for me. I think it might benefit Justin just because he's seen everything that goes on, like, the past years with his older brothers, Jack and myself, and um, I think it's going to help him just to prepare him to be ready to, you know, for all the press and all the glory that's going to come his way, you know. I hate when bad people try to wear tight clothes and it's just so nasty. Ew, they look so nappy. What the hell are you wearing? It's so ugly. My name is Jamie Kim. I'm a freshman here at Chatswood. Ew, 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 ew. I don't think it's important to be popular, but then you wouldn't want to become a loser at school with no friends or hang out with the people who wear the nasty clothes and with the butt huggers and stuff. 
No one wants to be like that. It's just so ghetto. I don't like Cindy's shirt. It's so ugly. Look yeah, plaid and flowers do not match. That's so nasty. Oh, you know. Hi! Just, just smile at it. Just smile at it. Let's do it with us. Under, up their butt. Do it with us. Up. Ew, what are you wearing? That's so ugly. Ew, why is your pen so small? <laughs> I'm not joking, sit. Sit! No. Come on, sit. No. Sit and it's sit. It's okay. You want my company. No, I do. I love you, sit. No, you Come on, I said sit. You lie. Sometimes I'm a bully to those really annoying people that get on all my nerves. I just want to hit. <laughs> Don't be. Shut up. Oh. If I want to be mean, I could be really mean and stubborn and bratty. Oh my god! Wow. Ever since my grandma died, I think I became like bad. Like, without her, like, I thought, like, it was, like, over because she's always been there for me, too. And then, like, she always said that she wouldn't leave me, but then she did. And then I got so pissed or something, and then I started blowing up, and then I thought I could do whatever the hell I want because she wasn't there anymore. Oh, hi! <laughs> My name is Josh. I am 14 and a half years old. I can't wait to be 15. Before I went to school, the night before, I couldn't get any sleep. I had a headache. I had a stomach ache. I had no clue what was going to happen. But then I get to school, and it's great. I'm sitting there talking to a junior. And I thought, if anything, the seniors and the juniors and the sophomore would just throw us in trash cans. But they talked to us. They admit we're real people. We might be a bit younger, but we're human. Ah, uh, ow! What is this stuff? It's like mashed potatoes or something. And I thought it was just stories about people chucking food around during lunch. Even when I was in eighth grade, the other eighth graders would pick on me. I was the second shortest in the whole class. And I don't really appreciate it when people ask me how tall I am because I know I'm not. I found out that lockers were going to be assigned by seniority. I went today to the media center to see the locker lady. Who's my dad called? He was going to call about getting me a locker. I don't know. Who's your dad? David Miles. Are you a freshman? Yes. You would need a doctor's note. Okay, I need a doctor's note. My parents can't just call? No, because freshmen are the last people to get lockers, and um, there aren't any more available. About getting myself a locker? Can't. All available lockers are taken. So I ended up getting a rolling book bag. I'm seriously considering getting a second normal backpack, and then dividing the stuff between that. I haven't even gotten all my textbooks yet. I don't know how I'll get through my year like that, lugging two backpacks around where I'll put them in the class, but if I have to do it, I'll do it. What I plan on doing, I just hope it works, is every day, at least for the next month, I plan on going there and seeing. Any lockers available yet? Excuse me. Whoa, sorry. sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. But it doesn't look like I'll have a locker. It looks like I'll have to just carry the stuff around. Two backpacks, three backpacks, no matter how much it takes. Okay, take care. You start to move. Hey, that's good. Hey, you're starting to move. That's good. Don't forget, tardy sweep. Trash pickup today, guys. That we have a tardy sweep and you pick up trash if you are not in your class. Let's go, Gonzalez. Let's move it out. You gotta get the class. Okay, looking good out there. You know, we got a tardy sweep and a trash pickup if you don't get to class on time. Hustle up, pick up the pace, right now! 
Oh, I got too many people standing around over there. Let's move it on over there right now. Let's get out of here. You're going to try us to pick up. You're going to pick up trash if you don't get the class. Move it out, people. Pick up the pace, young man, right now. Or you're going to be with me picking up trash. There should be nobody standing around. Let's get the class. Move it out. The one minute bell is about to ring. And if I see you out of class, you're coming with me to pick up trash. Ghost town, the way I like it. Hey, what happened here? You got about 30 seconds to get to class. Try it, just try it. But if it rings, you come with me. Okay, I gotta check one more and that's about it. Looks good back here. Should I? Yeah. Yo, sit here, sit here, sit here. Hey, who's that Armenian guy? He's right over here. He's not Armenian. He's not Armenian. You already against me? Yeah. What school are you from? I want to run for president for the freshman class because I'm like into politics and stuff. You're already against me? It's not, it's not funny. funny. Just good luck. Don't do that, Jamie. She already has like a lot of people. Not saying mean, but maybe next year he could win because like he came from a private school, Shamanad. So I don't think he knows a lot of people here yet. I did not know Jamie until I found out she was running. You know, the first thing that ran through my mind was that's the enemy. Hopefully, I'll try to beat her. You were eighth grade president at Lawrence. Yeah. Uh, I was eighth grade pres president at Shamanad. Are you campaigning already? Yeah. Did she? Did what you get a letter saying for? you can run? Uh, I'm not a freshman. Well, don't one think one. you're Start special. <laughs> Hello, I'm um, the Chancellor of Elections for Leadership. I'm running, the, I'm running the meeting. I'd like to start by just taking a roll to see who's here and who's not. Um, Asad? Asad's here. Uh, Jamie Kim? I heard it was like off for um, thing. Raymond Davis? Oh, Raymond Davis? No. Why are they saying you're Armenian? You don't look, you're are you Indian, Indian, right? No. no. You're Persian? He's Muslim. 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 Muslim? I, I just don't know where the Armen Armenian thing came from. I mean, I'm not Armenian. I know she's Korean, but if I called her Japanese or Chinese, hopefully she'd be mad because, you know, she, she should have some pride in who she is, that she's Korean. And I'm proud to be a Muslim. I don't think I'm racist, but at times I make comments and stuff. It's just to the people I hate. What if you lose and you really want to be in leadership? You can't, you, unfortunately, you can't come in this semester. You can try and run again next semester, or, I mean, you guys have three more years here at the school, and there will be a chance for you to be in leadership. If you don't win an election, you can always be a member, you can always apply to be a member at large next year. Ew. I never lost anything in my life. In sixth grade, I was Lawrence League representative of my homeroom. And then at the end of sixth grade, I ran for a student body historian. And I won for that. In eighth grade, I ran for president. And I thought I was going to lose. I don't know how I won at all. I seriously don't know. Make it more rounder. Oh, this guy, that, that Indian Assad. He started campaigning. Jamie, you're yeah, gonna I know. Win. It's not no fair point. for the other people. Oh, yeah, oh, oh he's like, oh, I got, I got that. Because we thing. only have two days. Yeah, I know. And he thinks he's like all hard and stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he running against me? He he did he think he was running by himself at first? Yes, no. he did. He just got on the Armenian slash Persian. That's why. He already has flyers up in all the classes. Yeah, it's not fair. I don't think it's fair. One of them down. Yeah, but even though he's like, oh, I didn't have any time, but that's not fair for other people. He should get he caught across like that. It's all, all this is is a popularity contest. It it's is. all it is is a popularity contest. In middle school, school was that a popularity contest? That's all it is. It's a popularity contest in, in junior high. It's the same thing now. You know, I won every single thing I ran for. So I wasn't here in this What if I lose again? He's nervous. She's nervous. You're running uh, against him. Yeah, you're nervous. It's sort of like if I lose, it's. It'll like make me fall so hard and I'm gonna be like so depressed and stuff. Oh. Yeah. He's a varsity coach. Hey Justin! Hi. Hey Priscilla! I don't want to say hi to the kid. 
You still playing soccer or what? Uh, me and Priscilla, we went out for like a week or two last year. Yes, gonna be a I am personally really proud of Justin on how good he is at his sports. I think he's really awesome and it, it in some ways it makes me want him more. Well, in eighth grade is when I first met Justin and then ever since then we've been close and on and off. Uh, with Priscilla, I'll just like start flirting with her because I don't know, she's like a cool girl and everything. Uh, and then she'll start flirting with me, so it's just a uh, back and forth thing. Well, one night Justin told me he loved me. After thinking about that, I realized that Justin was my first love. I like him. I like being around him. I like the type of person he is. I don't like the way he is with girls, but that's a different story. And, um, but I think he's a sweetheart to me. You're not gonna go to Lula's on Saturday? I don't know, I find a little more interest in the upperclassmen than I do freshmen. I don't know, I just wanna be free right now. Oh, yeah. He's like a big hotshot now. He's a little jock and he's a little castle and he gets all the girls. The reason why I don't really have a girlfriend because I don't want all the drama right now. Drama. Drama, like you and your girlfriend. There's no drama with me. There's lady. drama. I'm in love with you, Jenna. He doesn't understand anything. He just wants to go around and run over, or run around and kiss every girl he can. Just goes with it. I'm pretty frustrated with Justin Castle. He doesn't think about how the other girls feel, and he's just stupid. Aren't you Asian? Could you speak Asian? They're saying that you're hot. I think you are. Just because you're freshman right there and no. wanna, everything you see is like, oh my god, let me touch her. <laughs> All right? No. So don't start with me. I don't know. What are you doing? Now? I just wanted to know if you wanted to hang out. Uh, I don't know. Why don't you call my house? The older girls, um, the reason pretty much that I like them a little more is because, you know, they've been around. You know, they're not just like brain dead like a lot of the freshmen. No. Okay, all right, I'll do that. It's not bad at all to have a girlfriend. He just doesn't understand yet, which he shouldn't. He should experiment. There you go, I'm experimenting. There you go. Make sure you get out there and exercise your right to vote. Tables will be located on the quad today and tomorrow during lunch. Be part of the democratic process and choose your leaders. Vote for me for president, right? Yeah. I brought candy. You want candy? Yeah, sure. I'm willing to be bribed. I wanted to some people, like, in every group, like, different races, and I said, oh, can, like, because I know, like, each person in every group, so I just went up to a couple of people say, tell your friends to vote for me for your ninth grade president. You ever been elected to president? I was. When? Eighth grade. Oh, eighth, seventh, and sixth, right? Oh, you didn't screw up in eighth grade, so you probably won't screw up in ninth to get my vote. <laughs> the candy helped a lot. But most of the candy I got was from the people who I would be voting for before. Who's voting for me? Who's voting for me? Okay, okay. Who do you want to for? President. Who else is voting? This are Arabian, Persian, slash, black, Armenian. So who are you? Assad. Assad? If you have your ID card, go ahead and vote at this time. You still have 10 minutes. Exercise your franchise. It's your civic duty. Come on. I didn't vote. There's a thousand freshmen, so one less vote, it's not going to change the whole world. There's no freshmen. But help me find out freshmen people that will vote for me. Help me find freshmen. I might vote for you. Alright, you want some candy? No, it's okay. I can't chew candy. I can't eat it. Will you vote for me, President? Sure. You know who you're voting for already, right? <laughs> I don't know that many people. Are you in ninth grade? Are any of you people freshmen? Yeah. All right. I need to find a freshman, for God's sake. You guys, ninth graders, ninth graders, ninth graders. I know they're ninth graders. Ellen, you gonna vote for me for president? Thank you. Are you a freshman? What? No. Oh. Who the hell is he?
the day before, I brought like a small bag of candy, and then the next day, he tried to bring a bigger one, a bigger bag of candy, but then I just brought like everything, it was like bigger than his, and I think he sort of got mad. Who's running against you? Assad. Assad? This Indian kid. Who the hell's Assad? Why does he think I'm Indian? Okay, you're Muslim. I never said you're Indian. Do you not vote for him? I'm not sure uh, what my chances are to win the election because like a lot of people came up to me and told me that like I hope you win because I don't like Jamie. Well, I hate you. Did you say that to your voters? This is on me. You know who you're voting for, right? They're voting for Assad. You have to know a lot of people. If they don't know you, I don't think that they'll just go up there and vote, you know? It's a lunch, hello, who's gonna actually go there? I didn't really want to go and vote for myself. Oh, oh, thank you. What? You guys are, you guys are running, you can't, you can't campaign on the clock. Wait, no, I'm not, I didn't give out candy though. It's, no, it doesn't matter about giving out candy, you can't like, you can't, you can't campaign on the clock. Well, maybe she can push tricks down there. I have to win or I'm gonna die. Uh, election committee Hold and Ms. Lewin were going to the media center. Media center? Yep. We're going to announce the results? Yeah, we're going to announce the election results. Okay, I'm listening. Okay. They all the Asians don't win. They told me. And like even Armenians win. I don't know. I want to win so bad, but I'm not sure if I'm going to win. If I'm going to lose, uh, um, then I'm going to have like a really bad like name. Everyone's going to think of me as, you know, the guy who lost. Teachers and, and students, please excuse this interruption. We want to give you the results of today's election. If you'll hold on for one moment. Come on, serve it! No, I don't know. I think I lost. The freshman class president will be Jamie Kim. <laughs> I won! Did I win? I won! Lisa Jamie <laughs> Jamie's the president! Congratulations <laughs> to the newly elected class officers. Good luck leading your classes. The next election is going to be next semester. There's um, elections every semester. I will run, definitely. Um, there's no point in giving up. Hopefully I'll try to beat her. I'm president for now, but then for next semester, what I have to do run do again. Now? I don't know. Um, like just to do, like put meetings in order. I guess I don't. They didn't tell me yet. <laughs> you put meetings to order? Yeah. Like, uh, the, well, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> When Jason got hurt at the game, he was like on the on the bench, you know, his face is all red. I'm like, oh my god, he probably broke something. Ah. Ah. Hey, uh, I'll let you know that your skirt is really borderline, okay? Oh. You know, we have a dress code, and uh, if it's too revealing, it's inappropriate for school. Big dreams and we got big fears Trying to survive our freshman year